It's been heartbreaking, very uh, depressing, because I don't know where to start, what to do. An elderly disabled homeowner is staring down a massive home repair bill for damages she says were caused by a leaking fire hydrant. Those hydrants are the property of SAWS, but SAWS and so many other government agencies are shielded from taking financial responsibility in cases like SOSAS. The News 4 I team's Mariah Medina explains why. This is overwhelming. This is overwhelming. I've never seen nothing like this. Mary Sosa has lived in this northwest side home for the last 54 years without any serious issues. But now it's a, it's a real bad, bad, bad uh, crack. It's literally falling apart. Big cracks here, crack on that wall. All issues she says came after this fire hydrant sprung a slow leak in July of 2023. A leak she didn't become aware of until the water began to pool in her drought stricken yard. It was flooded. Everybody, my neighbors said she called sauce and uh, everybody was calling it in. So it says the San Antonio Fire Department fixed the leak a day after she and others reported it. But as the ground began to dry, she says her foundation problems began and pipes started to burst. All of this was full of water. It will take an estimated $16,000 to fix the foundation. But nothing can be fixed inside till the foundation is fixed and that's expensive. So Sosa so followed the claims process with SAWS, who owns the hydrants, and they denied her claim. Sosa's so situation is one many find themselves in because of a state law called the Texas Torts Claim Act. Attorney Joseph Holscher says the law makes it pretty difficult for innocent folks to get a single cent. To me, a huge travesty in Texas law is that there's no accountability through our courts for economic damages caused by government entities, except in these very limited circumstances. Those limited circumstances are if the claim involves a motor vehicle or a device with motor. There's not a lot of alternatives. You might be able to sue a third party contractor for a government entity. If the damage reaches a certain level, it could constitute an unlawful taking under the Constitution, and you might be able to attempt to recover fair market value for your property, but it, it almost has to be destroyed for that to occur. Meaning Sosa's best bet is if she can prove a third party that isn't a government agency caused the leak. It's so sad that something like this happens and nobody's there to help you, especially when it's not your fault. And we did reach out to SAWS. They say they are reviewing Ms. Sosa's claim as well as whether any contractors used the fire hydrant prior to the leak. We'll let you know as soon as we get those answers. For the News 4 I team, I'm Mariah Medina. Do you have a story you'd like the I-Team to look into? You can call the News 4 I-Team tip line or send an email at iteam at news4sa.com.